All right, it is not often a single dollar can go this far today. Instead of $1 turning into four meals, it's turning into eight. Call us at 821-4444. Now, food banks and pantries used to be lined with boxes of pasta meals and canned food, all meant to last for months. Well, that's the old way of doing things. Now the emphasis is on fresh, healthy, nutritious meals because we know that what we eat directly impacts how healthy we are. So we have Sean McKibben. He's from Mount Carmel Health System as well as Dr. Ihuma Anelli from Nationwide Children's Hospital here to talk more about that link between food and health. So I want to thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Dr. Anelli, first of all, why does it matter that our hungry neighbors have access to these these healthy foods, these nutritious meals, when you might think, isn't just having food enough for someone? It would be lovely if just having food would be enough, but it isn't. It's important that the food we get is nutritious and we know how to prepare it. And when you look at hunger in Ohio, you know, one in four children mm. are hungry. Right. That's heartbreaking. So when we look at feeding those kids, we know there's a direct relationship between food and health. Right. There are certain conditions that are related to unhealthy food. We think about type 2 diabetes. We think about hypertension, obesity. 18.5% of children in the United States are obese. And they live with adults, about 38% of them are obese. And we know that Obesity in itself has a high risk for a lot of comorbid chronic conditions. So if you think about it, if we can work on the food so it's nutritious, it's balanced, we have a direct impact on health. And that's, it's interesting because you work with these children and you directly see what can happen and what happens when they get that healthy meal. So it's probably a great feeling to see, okay, you know, this child is getting the nutrition that they need to have a healthy, good start to life. You're absolutely right. And you know, we talk a lot about overnutrition, but think about the other side of it. If we don't get good, nutritious, balanced meals, we can have deficiencies in our vitamins, vitamin B, in our iron, and those things affect how our brain works, right? Affects how our bodies work. So when we look, we're talking about nutritious meals, we're talking about both malnutrition, which is inadequate nutrition, and we're also talking about people who are carrying extra weight. So mm -hmm. it affects a wide range of people in our community. And that's one of the things that's important to us um, in pediatrics. Right, and, and, and in health, right? So, Sean, I mean, you guys are both in the health business, not the food business, obviously, but you see these ways of how important it is. So tell us why and how Mount Carmel is really connecting that food and health as well. Sure, so as part of our mission, Robin, keeping the, our communities that we have the privilege to serve uh, is one of the key components of our mission. We actually opened up the Mount Carmel Healthy Living Center about four years ago where we've had almost 50,000 visitors. While we focus on health and wellness, we've really focused on food recently. Uh, we have four significant programs, everything from a monthly cooking demonstration class where we get about 100 people. We have a Cooking Matters class, which is a six-week program in partnership with Local Matters. We've actually had a patient go through the Cooking Matters class that over a two-year period has lost 66 pounds. Wow. We also partner with Gladden Community House to get it uh, cooking, healthy cooking for children. And most recently, we've started a culinary medicine program uh, through our Mount Carmel West internal medicine program that actually has residents. Uh, Noah Hagen uh, from Tulane University came up and helped us with this program along with Dr. Lisa Hamilton. We have actually residents grow fresh produce, uh, come back and cook it for patients. So it's been a huge opportunity for us to impact the health of the community. And, and Sean, have you seen a shift in public policy that good nutrition is a right rather than an entitlement for people? Well, you, you know, the, the SNAP program, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, is key for the nutrition of America. It's the largest federally funded program for nutrition and health. Right now, about 43 million Americans receive benefits through the SNAP program. So if we are going to continue to promote the health of the community, it's very important that we're able to resource those individuals to make sure, to Dr. Anelli's point, that they're able to access uh, affordable food. I know Mid-Ohio Food Bank does a fantastic job of producing uh, healthy meals for the for the population, but it's a and it's an enormous opportunity for us to continue to provide those resources for the people who most need it. And Dr. Anelli, talking about children, the food banks work in that regard. Are you seeing the success of what they're able to provide? 
Oh, absolutely. You know, 20 years ago, when you talked about the food bank and you said a little bit about that, you would think about cans of food and boxes of processed food. No. We know that Mid-Ohio um, Food Bank pr shared 70 million pounds of food, and half of that was fresh produce. We're talking about meat, vegetables, fruits. And we see that in our families. When I sit across a mom and we talk about the food bank, that old perception is what she comes into my clinic with. But by the time she leaves, she understands that she's getting a nutritious meal, a full base meal with meat, um, best quality meat, vegetables, and fruits. And that's a huge difference. I think it's also important when we think about SNAP, right? SNAP helps to provide, um, feed our families. Yep. But the most important thing um, that most of us are not aware is that when these families run into a crisis, when you have to replace all the tires on your car, right? Food is what suffers the most. Yeah, so, so we need bank. to reach out. We need to help. The phones are ringing off the hook. So That's people fantastic. are listening and That's we'd love fantastic. to see it. Yes, and I want to thank you guys for being here. Keep calling if you can't get through, but um, definitely make it worth it. And obviously you're helping a lot of kids, a lot of adults. So right here in our community. So thank you both for being right. here. Well, thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. Well, a man who never hesitated to give of himself finds himself in need of a helping hand. Up next, his journey will make you rethink the face of hunger.